Hello everybody, I'm going to do a cooking video um, for tonight. Um, I'm going to be cooking tuna, tuna steaks that, um, what store did it, it says it's from Vietnam, so I guess uh, maybe in the oceans there, I'm not sure if it's ocean caught. Um, well, yeah, wild caught, it says wild caught. Skinless steaks, wild caught. Um, is it same store this came from? Not exactly. Distributed by Beaver Street Fisheries Incorporated, 1741 West Beaver Street, Jacksonville, Florida. So it just, you know, it just gives you that who distributes it, but that's it right there. So, um, let's bring this over here and we will. What am I doing here? Does that show what I'm doing? Okay, that pretty much shows what I'm doing. So what I'm gonna do is cut this open. This first there. Easiest way to do this. Okay. That's okay. It's I think individually packaged. No, they're packaged together. So I think FDA regulations say if you're going to put it in a pouch like this, you're not supposed. If these were frozen at all, and then unfrozen, they could it could consider. Call it could. Um, I'm not gonna cook the second one. It could cause salmonella. So then I'll wrap up. They smell pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna first use some black pepper. Oh, my thinking. Do it on a plate. Paper plate here. Just that way it can. Okay, we want to put a little black pepper to taste here. A little bit more. My hands are a little sticky from the fish. Let me just wash my hands real quick. They're not sticky. Just a little. Not a full wash. I'll do that after I finish. Don't want to get all fishy and stuff. Okay, here we go. I just needed to be okay. Um, I was gonna use McCormick sea salt and garlic. I was like, I put this on everything from like steaks to fish to um everything, just everything I could think of, and then we're gonna. Get some Italian seasoning on this. I usually do salmon up like this. I don't know if I've ever done this kind of fish the way I'm gonna do it. I get a little bit of that on there. Okay, now pat that in. And we're gonna flip it, get the other side. We're gonna start with the Italian seasoning on this side just because I've got it in my hand. And then some sea salt and garlic again. I showed you already. This is a nice flavor. And pepper. Black, brown pepper. Now some people do this teriyaki style, and you can. It'll come out good if you do it teriyaki style. I'm just going to put olive oil on there. See the brand, it's called, how do you say that, Carlini? Is that Carlini? I don't know what store that comes in. It claims virgin, extra virgin olive oil, or virgin olive oil from Aldi, country of origin, Argentina, Chile, Greece, 
Italy, Morocco, Portugal, Spain, Tunisia, and packed in Spain. This is really good for steaks and fish. It's a really light, it, you get the real flavor of the fish and the steak if you're going to do a steak. So, I'm going to cook it around 4 o'clock. Okay, a little more of that there. And then I'm going to wash my hands because I'm kind of sticky here. I'm going to use some ultra dish liquid, original great value, which is from um, Walmart, actually. It's really good stuff. You don't need the. Okay, I'm going to go get a the bag that. Wait, what am I getting now? Yes, the bag. I need one bag for for the fish and one bag for jelly, basically. So, so we're getting one bag for the fish I'm putting away, and I guess we'll freeze that one. And one bag for the one I'm going to cook. The one I just marinated a little bit in the olive oil and spices. Okay. So I'm going to have to pick this up again and put it in the bag. And then we're going to add the rest of the olive oil concoction. Right there. And before I close up the bag so I don't get the bag all mucked up, wash my hands yet again. Okay. And this we will throw in the garbage. Up. I'm not like I don't cook tuna steak all that much and I don't know exactly how long to cook it they say either eight to ten minutes and you flip it so I guess to be on the safe side I could do it eight minutes four minutes aside and then see how it looks afterwards so we will put this on a plate like so, and we're gonna put it in that fridge right there. So, do that right now. Okay, everybody, um, I am going to, next step is we got to cook it, but it is 326. I want to wait till four to put it on and then, um, should be ready sometime in the four o'clock hour and I will bring my fish and get it ready and stuff. So, so I will leave you here for now people and I will see you when I'm ready to cook the fish so see you later guys